Hey love bucks, it's Rouse, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, much love to you. And for my returning subs, my extended family, thank you so much for the love and support and all the kind blessings that you send each and every one of us along with each other it is so greatly appreciated and I'm very blessed and honored that you do those things. And with that being said, much love, namaste to all, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely going to be coming for you. And if you've been watching my videos for a while. What are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload a next video. Okay? And if you feel like you are comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or if it's about you giving positive feedback on the content of my video. Or you just tell me about, you know, your spiritual gift that, you know, the universe has placed upon you. And... Thank you for stopping by my channel today. And the med meditation music I'm listening to today is in Into a Mystical Forest. Enchanted Celtic uh, and, uh, Enchanted Celtic music at 432 hertz. Nature sounds magical forest music. And I will post that link in the description box below. I love to hear nature, you know, with the birds and the you know, the crickets and, you know, little bunnies and stuff and little deer. But anyways, the video today is about Twin Flame 101, Wiccans on Wishing Prosperity, uh, Granting Prosperity Wishes. Um, I'm going to be uh, demonstrating a thing that is, I highly recommend, you know, especially if it's only for positive. You do not want to press anything. Rule number one, you never want to wish vengeance on anybody any kind of bad intentions i don't do that and so don't do that <clears throat> because you when you do anything for bad intentions for greed like love spells and oh i wish this person will love me or i wish this person will notice me if they do not notice you and they do not love you before you do magic baby there ain't no magic there <laughs> you do not want stuff like that if you ever seen the craft and stuff like that even though that's a movie, I really believe stuff like that can happen. When people put love spells on, on folks like that, you'll get it to the point where these folks are picking bushes at you. So you don't want to do that. But what I did was a few weeks ago, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know, I was helping a lot of people, you know, with problems. They were having healing, letting go of things, even though I was on my verge of doing it too. You know, learning about, you know, that... I have Wiccans in our blood and past millennium lineage, whatever you want to call that, you know, it's been passed down. So, um, I saw a post that you can put bay leaves, any kind of, uh, well, you know, a whole bay leaf, not the, you know, the ingredients or whatever, but a whole bay leaf. If you have a bay leaf, magic marker, and I prefer a white candle because white is, you know, pure and prosperity and stuff like that. White is always, you know, really good. But, you know, you can probably use any kind of candle, but I don't. I use white. And it's just like things that you want as in, you know, I wanted a peace of mind because it was just like a few weeks ago helping with, every, you know, everybody with, you know, my close friends and stuff like that. Um, it was a good thing I was able to do that. But when you're taking away, you know, somebody's, you know, pain or somebody's trauma, it has to go somewhere. So when you're taking it away, you have to always make sure you send it off to its rightful place and give it, you know, send it off to its rightful place into peace and love. Because if you don't, you're going to take on that residue, that emotion residue, that's what I call it from you know whoever you're taking on and it's just like especially if somebody is dealing with uh any kind of drug use and you're a person that like me you know dealing with sobriety yourself you're going to take on their issues too and it's not like you know i was doing anything hardcore or anything like that but it'll, it'll mess with your sobriety so anything like I wanted a peace of mind or I wanted to pr protect myself from other people's emotions and energies. 
um, I wanted to feel happiness in my life. So all of a sudden, <laughs> I feel empty. I put that, you know, I marked it on, um, uh, you know, on a candle. I mean, on a, on a bay leaf. So you just take a bay leaf, you know, you get from any kind of store. You can get them from the dollar store or, you know, wherever your grocery store you go to. And, you know, you when you, you, whoever you pray to, even if you don't even have to be, you know, practicing in the witchcraft, you could be at wits and you just really want something, you know, good to happen for you in your life. Um, so I'll just put on, for example, I want happiness. So you place happiness on a bay leaf. You know, and whoever you pray to, you know, anything that's holy and pure. And make sure you, you put it out for good intentions. And you really have to believe in it. Um, and then you take the candle. And you got to be careful to make sure you don't catch yourself on fire. And... I was like, hold on, let me, matter of fact, let me put a pause in for this because I forgot to get my tweezers. Hold on, y'all. Okay, sorry, y'all. I had to go ahead and get me a, um some tweezers because I said I'm not about to catch myself on fire. So you make sure you're in a good place where, you know, in case of something, you know, lights up because it does bring up a big flame when you put this in fire. And let me make sure I just pour all this wax out because I got excess wax in this candle. I've been burning it for a while. So I wrote, ooh, I wrote happiness on my bay leaf. And it was just like I, I did a couple of times. You know, I wished for, you know, more subscribers and be successful you know, at the things that I apply myself for. Like, if you're wishing for money and stuff like that, it will happen. You have to believe in it, but you also have to put in the work for it. So don't think you can be able to put a, a, a spell out. You know, there are some people that know how to probably cast spells like that to bring poof. You know, stacks and stacks of money will just come in or whatever. But, um, you know, all of a sudden, when I ask for more money to come, you know, have some kind of financial security come in, all of a sudden it's, you know, um, you know, we had money come in the house, you know, um, they made a mistake on a pay stub, <laughs> and then extra money came in, it, it was just, you know, all of a sudden, we were like, wow, all of a sudden, this money started coming in, and it's just like, people are just telling me that I was close to, that, you know, we were able to feel, feel each other's emotions, they're like, well, Rosalind, I can't feel you no more, and I'm like, you know what, I can't feel you either, we have to personally ask each other, hey, are you okay? We have to personally reach out to each other. And I mean, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing, but you know, it's just like, we're right now with all the shift and stuff going on, the shifting and all that, you know, it's like SOS. We have to save ourselves. So it's just like me, I was at my wit's end and you know, I said, I need to do this and poof, you know, I had a post that comes up and it says, write, you know, what you want on a bay leaf and it has happiness on there. You know, it's backwards, but happiness. So, you place it in a fire, you call on whatever you feel is holy and pure, and you really truly believe in this. Like, you know, I, I, I said I needed happiness. I needed peace of mind. So, it's just like now I have that feeling in my heart, like, you know, everything is going to be okay, even though I don't know truly everything that's going on. It, I feel like it's happening for me. And you see that the, the fire is is getting bigger you know like the all of a sudden the fire started changing for me and you know basically bay leaves bring brings you know good aura to you anyway it's cleansing off energy around you and everything so it's you know that when you're burning that you know I know you really can't see it because you know y'all I'm sorry I don't have one of those nice expensive cameras but now you see how the fire gets gets higher so you just make sure you have like some tweezers or something, you know, to be able to hold it. But you have to make sure that the leaf completely burns for the wish to be able to come true. 
And I felt like the other day, you know, I was telling y'all, I just feel this complete happiness. I did this like three or four days ago, and I got like about seven or eight. Uh, when I did that, I was like at probably about 587 subs. Now I'm like over six plus of subscribers. So it, it's just like when you want things like this to go on for your life, and you, you know, you don't have to be somebody that has to have, you know, wicked in my blood or whatever. A lot of people practice witchcraft. And, you know, when people hear, you know, when you hear witch, you think negative. You, oh my God, they practice Satanism and stuff like that. I'm not a religious person, but I'm very spiritual. I believe in heaven and earth. I believe in nature. I believe in everything that's connected. You know, we're all connected. We're all in oneness. We're, we're, we are the universe, you know. So it's just like when you want things like this to happen for you, you know, number one, don't do it for love. Um when you want like peace in your household you know you know peace amongst your family and your friends you might notice things you might even have people just leave your house your life is just whatever intentions you're putting in into it make sure that you truly believe in it there's no kind of doubt in your body you know you have to imagine something that truly makes you happy P focus that energy on that and whatever makes you happy but just make sure it's out for good intentions so I hope that was able to help somebody. You know, if you're going through something, know that things you have to think positive. You have to be in a in a perfect in a not a perfect state of mind, but in that perspective that you know that things are going to change for you. And I really had that feeling for myself. So I'm not going to do you know tell you some kind of magical spell or magical potion that you know I feel like it's not going to work if I haven't tried it myself. So I hope you you were able to resonate with something in this video. Stay blessed, stay prosperous. Remember, there's always somebody out there praying for your better, better health and better, better life. And know that you are blessed in love. Send out as much positivity and high vibes as you possibly can. And I will see you on my next video. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I love the chance to hear from you. And I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild.